Today I'm going to show you how to install the navigation and audio update from Honda onto your 2018 Honda Goldwing. Now I'm working on a Macintosh which is running Parallels software which allows me to use Windows software. You do have to have Windows to do this. And the first thing you're going to need is a 16 gigabyte USB thumb drive, USB 2.0, I should add. And when you insert that drive into the computer, uh, it will recognize it and it should show up in your list under the computer tab. As you can see here, mine is named PNY Duo Link. I'm having to do a couple little things here you may or may not have to do. Uh, this was actually originally formatted for a Mac, so I'm having to reformat it anyway. But you will need to reformat this thumb drive regardless by right mouse clicking on it and pulling down to the Format option. Now you want to format this using the NTFS file system. That's very important. And then simply hit Start. And it'll ask you if you, you know, you're sure you want to do that. Go ahead and click OK and it'll take it, oh, maybe 20, 30 seconds to format that thumb drive. And pretty soon you should get a message that says Format Complete, as you can see here. The next step is to launch your web browser. I'm using Firefox, but you can use Explorer, whichever you like. And go to powersports.honda.com slash goldwingupdate.aspx and it will take you to this page that explains exactly how to perform the update. But you basically are going to scroll down to the download option, download, start download, and just click save file and click OK. Now this is going to begin downloading the file that you're going to need for the update and it's going to download it to your, usually to your downloads folder. And once that download is complete, you're going to then copy that over to your USB drive. You can see here the progress of the download. I'm showing uh, Firefox lets you actually see the progress of the download. So I'm going to skip ahead and show you what happens after it's been downloaded. In your downloads folder, you'll find a file called SWDL. You want to copy that over to the USB thumb drive that you just formatted. As you can see here, I've copied it to the PNY Duolink drive. Next, insert the thumb drive into your Goldwing USB port, either in the glove box or in the trunk if you have an ABS model. Now, rotate the ignition switch twice so that you put the motorcycle in the accessory mode. That way you're not burning your headlights. After your audio system starts up, you'll see some messages like you just like you normally would. And after about 30 seconds to maybe a minute, you'll see a message come up on the screen asking you if you want to update your software. Now, once you see this message, Use the toggle switch on the left handlebar. Press the left button to toggle over to yes, that you do want to do the update, and then hit the enter key, and the update will begin. And once you press the enter key, uh, the update will begin. And you'll begin seeing some messages on your screen similar to this one. Uh, you'll, be, you'll see several different messages. This update actually is going to take about 30 to 40 minutes, depending just depending, and uh, you'll see a lot of different messages, and the total progress of the install will show at the very top, where here it says it's 44% completed. Now I'm going to show you a few of the other screens here while we go through this, but I'd like to also remind you, if you enjoy this video, if you find it helpful, please take a second to click the subscribe button down below, and then click on that little bell icon if you want YouTube to inform you of new videos as I come out with them. After the installation is complete, you'll notice your screen will basically just go black and it's, it's going to just reboot. Your audio system will reboot itself just like it does when you uh, turn on your motorcycle. And then that's your indication that the update has been completed and applied. 